Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Justin here, and today I'm very excited to be unboxing for you the new OnePlus 2, a mobile device that is building upon the OnePlus 1, which already had a huge amount of hype last year, and even more this year with over 4 million people on the invite reservation list. But thankfully, we've got it here in order to bring coverage to you guys, and I've got to give a huge thanks to OnePlus for that. But without further ado, there is a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and give you the unboxing and first look at the OnePlus 2. So starting out with the specs, the OnePlus 2 features a Snapdragon 810 processor which is octa-core. It has also got 4GB of RAM on the 64GB model and houses a 3300mAh battery. The device itself has also been redesigned with a new fingerprint sensor and also an aluminum and magnesium alloy body. However, the display itself still measures in at 5.5 inches and it is a 1080p resolution. But let's not wait any longer and open up the OnePlus 2 as I've been very excited for this device and couldn't wait to get my hands on it. DHL actually opened my OnePlus completely for the customs, but thankfully everything is undamaged. Below the phone itself you will find a little quick start guide, and below that you will find your charging equipment in the OnePlus design including the USB to wall charger, and of course the reversible new USB-C cable, which is definitely going to be the future of mobile devices, and OnePlus is seemingly one of the first to adapt to that. But now moving up to the setup and installation process upon the first boot, it looks a lot like stock Android, and that is actually a really good thing. As you may know, on the OnePlus One it did feature CyanogenMod, but they did part ways with OnePlus, and then came Oxygen OS, which I actually really like. Everything seemed to be very responsive like I noticed on the previous generation, and the display is actually very beautiful considering it is 1080p. The capacitive touch buttons are also much more visible, and that fingerprint sensor works very well. And there's one thing that is worth mentioning, and that is the button isn't actually a button, it's just kind of a dimple for the fingerprint sensor, which is touch sensitive. However, you do also have the option to use on-screen buttons if that's what you're used to. But navigating along the operating system, you really can't find huge differences to stock Android. Everything is very simple, clean, and very easy to use and navigate. And that is definitely something I love from first look. As I mentioned, the OnePlus 2 features the same 5.5 inch 1920x1080 resolution display with a PPI of 401. It is still very colorful, everything looks great, and, and the colors are very vibrant and do jump out to you. On the back of the device, you'll find your 13 megapixel rear facing camera with an f2.0 aperture as well as the flash and also a laser autofocusing thing. It ships with a sandstone back, however with the style swap covers, you have the option to pick between different types of wood finishes as well as Kevlar. And my bamboo back is already on its way. The device measures in at 9.85mm thick and weighs in at 175 grams. and with the magnesium and aluminum alloy the device feels amazing in the hand, very durable and it has much more heft compared to last year's model. You'll find the 3.5mm headphone jack on the top and on one side you have your sleep wake button as well as the volume rockers, while the other side has the alert slider which allows you to turn notifications on or off with the click of a switch. And last but not least, on the bottom you will find the USB-C port. And what I hope for is in the next year all companies will have switched their flagship smartphones to this new USB standard. But other than that, this has just been an unboxing and first look at the new OnePlus 2. And once again, a huge thanks to OnePlus for sending us out for reviewing purposes. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button as it helps the channel out a bunch. And actually let me know in the comment section below if you plan to be picking this smartphone up or at least trying to and what number you are at in the reservation line. I'll see you all in the next video.